Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about the newly announced Dokkan Fest Transforming Trunks coming to JP Dokkan, and I have my translations up here. This video is a little bit late, it's just been a ridiculously busy past like 10 hours or so doing a bunch of legend stuff, and yeah, it's been busy, but here we go. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here at what this Trunks is able to do here. So he's transforming unit. This is obviously the Trunks from when he arrived first and killed Mecha Freeze and King Cold in the present timeline. Um, so uh, yeah, obviously he's going to be on a bunch of teams. He's going to have some pretty good links. Right? Obviously this is Trunks. So that's those are my initial thoughts going into this. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So this is Trunks Teen. His leader skill is the Entrusted Will or Android slash Cell Saga categories, key plus three, HP 130% and defense plus 170%. So right off the bat, I cannot tell you whether or not this is a good or bad leader skill because we have no idea what the entrusted will category is going to be. Uh, this is once again, one of these very subjective categories where you can maybe, you know, put this guy on there, put that guy on there. Like it, it, you, you can't f definitively say this character will be on there and this character will not be on there. It is just something we're going to have to wait and see how it works and uh, accept it for what it is because that's at this point what the category system is, has, has come to, right? Uh, but Android and Cell Saga, I mean, that is a really nice leader skill for that category. 170% um, to both attack and defense. It's about time we finally got that. So that I am definitely happy about. Uh, the super attack is the Flash Blade. He raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. So when I initially saw that, I mean, this is the first thing I'm looking at is the super attack effect. So... Um, I, I wasn't really too impressed. I mean, this is a 30% defense raise for one turn, and that's it. Compare that to other Dokkan Fest exclusive super attack effects we've seen recently, and that's honestly not that impressive. But let's go take a look at what he's doing, what he's doing in his passive. So, passive is the super high speed technique, attack and defense plus 100%. Then he gains an additional attack and defense plus 100% when attacking. So that's going to multiply directly into that start of turn buff for a bigger... This is not just a 200% buff, it's, it's higher than that. Um, then he has a great chance, that's a 70% chance, to launch up to two additional attacks. Every time three attacks are launched in battle, he can launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, and that effect can activate only once per turn. So, in other words, what this means is, you know, assuming you have a super attack, you're, you're going to perform the super attack, and then you can perform up to two normals. Remember, these are, it does not say in the passive that this can, these can be super attacks. So these are guaranteed normal attacks, unfortunately. Um, so those are gonna, assuming you get both those off, you can get those two normal attacks off. Then you can get the hidden potential additional, right? And because of the fact that he is an AGL unit, it's going to be much easier for him to get additionals via the hidden potential system because he's going to have that natural fi extra five additional in there. So let's just recap. You have the super attack initially. You have the two additional normals from his passive. Then you have the hidden potential attack, and then this final portion is going to activate because um, he's going to guarantee launch an additional attack here. It's, it's guaranteed um, every time three attacks are launched in battle. So I'm just I'm just trying to think because in order to not have this, I'm, I'm just assuming you have the unit rainbow, right? Assuming you do not. I'm just trying to, is there a way to not get this? I mean, I guess, yeah. The only way you can not have this activated is if you miss one of the two, one of the two, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the way that this great chance to launch of the two additional attacks works is I'm pretty sure the first additional is guaranteed, and then the second one has a 70% chance to go off. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure... It's like a similar wording on LR Goku and Piccolo, and I've never not seen them do at least the first additional attack. So those are two guaranteed attacks already. So you have to not get the second additional from this, and then you have to not get the hidden potential additional. That's the only way you aren't going to get this additional attack from the last portion of his passive. So this guy seems pretty good. <laughs> He's going to be doing like pretty much at the absolute most unlucky point ever you're gonna be doing two attacks every turn i think is how this is how this is working and at the absolute most lucky point you're gonna be doing five attacks in a turn honestly i think you're gonna see way more five attack turns than you are gonna see two attack turns so the average amount of attacks you're gonna do per turn i would say it's probably gonna be like four um i think four attacks is on average what you're looking at from this character so that's that's really good 
Uh, then uses the active skill for the transformation uh, condition, able to be used once six or more attacks are launched in battle once only. This is the first area where I think they could have improved this character. I think if they made this just five instead of six, it would have made a massive difference because again, this character can perform five attacks in one turn, which means that if this character was on your rotation turn one, and you launched five attacks, he could come into the rotation on turn three and then transform. And I think that would have made him way better because the ability is transform into a Super Saiyan and stun and seal the current target enemy for one turn. Um, the biggest issue or the biggest complaint, I guess, I've seen from people about this character so far is that he's transforming once you do six attacks. So, I mean, on, on average, this is going to be turn five or six, right? That's pretty much every single time what you're going to see in terms of when he's going to transform. Um, and in an event like Super Battle Road, uh, by the time you're on, you're on turn five or six, you're pretty much done with the fight at that point. Um, so it, it's it's tough to utilize a stun or a seal effect at that point when you're pretty much done with the fight. And then on top of that, if you're in a, like a longer style event, like Infinite Dragon Ball History or like Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event, Legendary GT Goku event, the enemies most of the time are going to be immune to these effects. So. A lot of people have pointed out that they think that this um, effect is not really super useful. Um, and I would definitely agree with that to, to an extent. Um, to me, um, you're, I mean, we're going to see more of this in this transform state. But to me, this sort of stunning and sealing and, you know, extra stunning and stuff like that. Like, this is going to be more so an added bonus onto what he's doing. More so than, like, the core of his kit. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at this. Um, and then we, we're going to get to like the biggest complaint that I personally have for this character. So his links are Messenger from the Future, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. I don't think this link set is bad by any means. Um, but the one thing I'm a little bit confused as to why they did it is why didn't they give him Prepared for Battle? Like, to me, the biggest, the, 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 the value that these Dokkan Fest exclusive characters are bringing to the game, at least at this point, um, is the amount of categories that they're on and being able to link well with a lot of the characters on these categories. And I'm just going to quickly go over to Kaelin Kaleva. This is why, oh, oops. <laughs> this is the reason why I have them pulled up here, right? They're on like 50 million categories. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 categories. They have Saiyan lineage and prepare for battle. So they have two major key links uh, that, are, that are going to work well across like the majority of these teams. And what that means is you can just slide them into pretty much any of these teams that have a Saiyan base to them, and they're going to easily fit in there and make the team run a lot more seamlessly. This Trunks, he has Saiyan lineage, but Shocking Speed is not anywhere even on the same level as Prepare for Battle. So that's the main complaint that I have about this character. If I could replace Shocking Speed for Prepare for Battle for this character, I definitely would. Um, definitely not like a terrible Link set by any means. Again, I don't, I'm not saying it's a bad Link set. I just think it would have benefited this character, as well as all these categories way more, if this was Prepare for Battle of Shocking Speed, or if they wanted to go ahead and remove, like, Cold Judgment for, for Prepare for Battle, that would have been good. Or <laughs> Messenger from the Future, I mean, it's, it's, it's a Trunks link, so they have to have this on here, but I don't know, man. Not having Prepare for Battle is a little bit uh, disappointing in terms of how many categories he's on, and how well he's going to fit on a lot of these categories. Um, so then his transform state, the Super Saiyan Trunks uh, form here. So the Super Attack effect goes to greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. So that is a good effect. Um, it's not crazy. It's not mind-bogglingly overpowered, but it, it's definitely better than this, <laughs> the one up here. Um, so his passive turns to attack and defense plus 100% with a great chance to perform a critical hit. So that is a permanent 70% chance to perform a critical hit when he's transformed. That's very, very good. Then he gains an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. And then he has a uh, once only critical hit as well, guaranteed. So I think looking at this Trunks' kit, uh, you guys might be a little bit torn on whether or not you want to go additional or crit on this character. Um, there's merit to doing both. I mean, obviously when you're a Super Saiyan, you want to have more additional because the crits are obviously going to be happening a lot like very often right you have a 70 percent chance plus the first attack you do is a guaranteed crit um but in his base form crits are going to help him a lot so it's really going to be up to you do you want to do you do you think you're going to utilize this character more so in base form or super saiyan like are you going to be doing long events more often or short events more often i guess is what it comes down to i think me personally when this character comes to global i'll probably go more so for the additionals 
Um, because I, I would just I hate to, I would hate to, I would hate to transform, and then it just feels like I'm I'm wasting my hidden potential on crits when it could be doing additionals, right? And then on a, on top of that, you want the additionals for this effect as well, right? The uh, super deck effect. So I, me personally, I would go mostly additional. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, you're not wrong for going crits because he definitely needs them for his space form here. Um, and then he gains an additional attack plus 50% of the target enemies in the attack down or defense down status. He gains an additional attack plus 50% of the target enemies in the stunned or sealed status. And then he gains a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns if all allies attacking on the same rotation are on the androids slash cell saga category. And then he loses Sane Warrior Race for Super Saiyan in terms of his links here. So definitely an interesting um, design for this character. I think just looking at his passive as a Super Saiyan, if you just factor in the start of turn 100% boost, the additional 100% boost when he's performing a super attack, and then on top of that, the 50% extra boost he's getting when that target enemy is an attack down or defense down, because if we're being realistic here, the enemy is most likely going to be in defense down or attack down because there's very few enemies in the game that are resistant to both of those things. Um, the only thing is, I don't believe, like, oh, let's just take, like, LR Goku and Frieza as an example here. They obviously have the same sort of, uh, same sort of effect in their passive where they're going to be doing extra damage to enemies that have attack or defense down, right? But with Goku and Frieza, they have a link, solid support. Um, that is able to lower the enemy's defense for just activating the link, right? So they don't even have to have the enemy attacked before they get that, that buff. I don't think any of these links do that. Like, definitely not Fierce Battle, definitely not Shocking Speed, not Saiyan Warrior Race, not Saiyan Lineage, not Royal Lineage, not Cold Judgment, and I, I don't... The only one I'm not sure of is Messenger from the Future. I, uh... I don't think that lowers attack or defense. If it does, that's definitely going to help this Trunks out a lot. But, well, actually, are you really activating this link that often? I don't think so. Yeah, so that, that is actually a point of concern as well, I guess, is how often is the enemy going to be in attack down or defense down status for this Trunks, right? I, I don't I don't know. Um, maybe I'm overlooking something in his kit that uh, would be able to debuff the enemy, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you're able to get the enemy in attack down or defense down, and you super attack them. <laughs> his, his attack stat is going to be so absurdly high, on top of the fact that he's basically doing a critical hit every time, right? A 70% chance to perform a critical hit every single time. This Trunks is doing a lot of damage. Um, and so, to me, that's the main, um, I guess, core appeal of what this unit is bringing to the table. More so than, oh, he's going to, you know, he's going to crit the enemy if you have a full rotation of Android slash Cell Saga characters. Oh, he's going to, he's going to stun and seal the enemy when he transforms. That, to me, those effects to me are just additional things that are secondary to what he's mainly here to do, which is damage, right? Just, just straight up damage, he's critting. Like this Trunks as a Super Saiyan probably has one of the highest uh, damage dealing, or he's probably one of the highest damage dealing TURs in the game. It doesn't look like that if you look at his passive here, but the, the additional damage that he's gaining from these critical hits in here uh, on top of the way that the the attack that is multiplied with all these additional effects here, like this is a lot of damage. It, it, it is. It really is. Um, and um, actually, what I was going to say as well is this kind of, this trunks kind of reminds me of this trunks um, because when this LR trunks first came out. By the way, I think this guy actually could get an EZA in the celebration, so keep an eye out for that. But when this physical trunks initially got his EZA um, back when uh, was this August of 2017 on JP. Um, this guy was completely underrated, I think. Like, people saw his passive, and they were like, oh, he's, he's you know, he's, he's okay. He's nothing special. Um, <laughs> but people didn't understand how ridiculous this was. Especially back in the day when the hidden potential, hidden potential system was relatively new, right? A 50% chance just to perform a critical hit from the passive. Like, on top of his LR stats, this guy was really good. <laughs> like, really, really good. But, uh... I think people definitely overlooked how good he was um, because it just didn't seem impressive that this was his full passive. And I feel like the same thing is happening with this Trunks, right? You take a look at this passive, it's 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 not, you know, he's, he's, oh, you think, oh, he's only getting 100% attack and an additional 100% attack, whereas units, you know, we've seen get like 180% at the start of turn. It's like, you have to understand that that 
is this is first of all these two 100% instances are factored in separately. Then you have extra 50% uh, boosts on top of that, depending on the enemy's uh, status condition. And then you have crits on top of that. His trunks is gonna hit for like seven million attack stats. Plus he's critting like every turn. Plus he's greatly stacking his attack and defense for one turn, which means his defense is probably gonna be like over 300k. And um, he seems like he'll be pretty good to me. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I have no complaints about this Trunks whatsoever. I mean, well, uh, that's not true. The only complaint I really have is that why doesn't he have prepared for battle? And uh, this should have been five instead of six for the transformation condition. If they did those two things, then I would have actually like no complaints about this character. Like if he had the ch just the chance to transform on turn three or four, I think he would have been much better off. And then if he had prepared for battle instead of like cold judgment or or Messenger from the future if they wanted to really get rid, of, get rid of that link there. He would have fit much better on all these teams and helped his teams out more. But we will have to wait and see what the Entrusted Will category team looks like. Um, so that's Trunks. Let's go ahead and move on to the Heart Virus Goku. So uh, this was a... Uh, <laughs> I, I saw a lot of people speculating about what the potential banner unit could have been for this banner. Um, a lot of people wanted King Cold. A lot of people wanted Mecha Frieza. I thought maybe potentially we could, we could have gotten like a pink shirt Vegeta. Because we, right now the only one we have is like the uh, the reward card for the I think it's the 300 million download celebration. But so this is Super Saiyan Goku. Um, he is a Turtle School category leader, 130 percent of stats here. The super attack is the Confusion Meteor Smash. Greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a high chance of sacrificing 7 percent HP. So the, the, there's two things to note about this, right? He's oh actually there's three. He's infinitely greatly raising his attack so that's gonna add up after a bit right now this is a banner unit he's doing immense damage which is not common right and then he has a high chance of sacrificing seven percent hp so that's only a 50 percent chance that he's going to lose the health so keep that in mind his passive is attack and defense plus 100 percent that's just the baseline then he gets an additional attack and defense boost up to 200 percent where the higher the hp the greater the boost and then he gets key plus five, chance to perform a critical hit and damage reduction plus 59%. And he gets a 59% chance to perform an additional super attack for the first five turns from first appearance. Then uh, after six turns from the start of battle, he gains an additional defense plus 59%. And when HP is 59% or below, he gains 59% damage reduction. And just keep in mind, this last portion here, so this, this uh, when HP is 59% or below, get a 50%, 59% damage reduction buff. That is also dependent on it being after six turns. Just keep that in mind. So uh, this guy seems really, really, really good. Um, uh, you guys might know uh, High School Gohan, the uh, World Tournament STR High School Gohan, Super Saiyan Team Gohan reward. Uh, a lot of people consider him to be one of, if not the best World Tournament reward card. Uh, because of the fact that he has a 58% damage reduction uh, buff in his passive. And that pretty much allows you to bring him anywhere and he'll be okay without taking too much damage. This Goku has 59% damage reduction, 59% chance to crit, and a 59% chance to perform an additional super. I mean, <laughs> dude, <laughs> think about the damage this guy's about to do. Like, with the hidden potential system, like, he's, he's doing three attacks per turn, pretty much, and they're all crits. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and he's pretty much not going to take damage. What do you at full health? He is three hundred percent defense with fifty nine percent damage reduction. Okay, <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. Um, and then his link set is even more crazy: Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Experience Fighters, Super Saiyans, Shocking Speed, and, and Fierce Battle. So he has Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Shocking Speed. Those are three like main key links. Um, you know, back in the day, we had like, you know, the Kaioken, uh, the Kaioken Gokus, we had Blue Kaioken Goku, who had Shocking Speed over in a Flash and prepared for battle, which back in the day, those were the three main key links. I would actually argue that probably right now, Saiyan Lineage is a more important link and a, a more prominent key link than over in a Flash. So Saiyan Lineage, prepared for battle and Shocking Speed on one unit is like invaluable, <laughs> right? Imagine if Trunks had this link set. <laughs> It'd be so much better. Um, 
And then his categories are Turtle School, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Friendship, and then High Speed Battle. So I, uh, looking at this Goku and he's just like, uh, the only thing I will say though is that this guy definitely is only going to be good, I think. Well, not, not only good, but only like exceptional, I guess I would say in uh, Super Battle Road or short events. Because remember, this first portion of the passive up to here, from here, is only uh, for the first five turns from uh, the first time he's on rotation. So that is probably only really going to be applicable to Super Battle Road and like Dokkan events. And maybe the God event too, actually. The God event, he will definitely be good in there as well for the first five turns. Doesn't really, the God event really doesn't take more um, and I would like seven turns. I probably would say is like the most I've gone in there. Probably maybe a little bit more. Uh, it depends on your team and stuff like that. But um, he should be good in the God event. He should be good in Super Battle Road. Um, but when you get into stuff like Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Vegeta event, there's probably better options in this guy for sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> for those first five turns, he's doing everything. Like <laughs> he's a god. So that is the. Um, the heart virus Goku here. But uh, that is going to be it for the information to cover the new Dokkan Fest transforming trunks as well as heart virus Goku. Let me know down below what you guys think about these characters. Are you excited? Are you summoning? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.